Hello everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back. Uh, my name is Elodie from Elodie's Crafts and Creations and if you've seen the latest videos you will see how we made these covers that are now all glued and prepared and now we're going to uh, sew all our pages. Well, this is it guys, um, we finished our covers, as you can see, so what we did is we made our covers, we did a bit of embroidery, then we glued it on our cardboard covers, and then I added this at the back because I really like a little dangle, a little something something to, I don't know, to mix it up a little bit, I really like to do that. So. Um, the next step is to just sew in our signatures, which are right here. Let me grab one here. And we're just gonna sew it in. And as I mentioned, I really want to try a new kind of apparent uh, sewing, which is like a crisscross. Criss <laughs> I'm not really sure how to do that, so I'm going to be researching uh, probably tonight how to do that. I'm pretty excited and I'm going to do that either with a embroidery thread here or maybe some yarn or maybe some um, like thick thread. I guess I'll find out when I read the research or watch the videos <laughs> on YouTube tonight. So I'm really, really happy you guys have been here with me all this way already. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe if you like what I do. It really helps out my channel, really makes me happy as well. Whenever I get a little notification saying you've got a new subscriber or you get a new message or well comment, it's, it's really cool. I really love it. So thank you so much and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Our pages, we need to do something that I almost forgot, <laughs> but didn't. It's this inside. We want to use, well, I'm going to use probably the same color cloth that I have. So this here looks fine. And I'm going to do it a bit bigger, probably somewhere here. There and then something, something like this. Oops, let's just cut it there. And we're going to glue it. And the idea is that um, when you put paper, it rips. You know, um, I've mentioned this before in my journal, in my videos, and I've done the mistake before as well. Paper rips, especially if it's been wet and, well, if you're careful. So I actually prefer putting cloth. It doesn't rip and it's going to last a lot longer. So this is what we're going to do right now. Put it up and I think there was too much water on my on my brush, that's why it's not gluing. So let's just do it again. <laughs> okay. And fear not, um, well this is important because you can see between the pages, between your signatures, so you need to have something to kind of hide this ugly piece here. 
um, but we are going to fill these in with a lovely paper we're gonna hide it all and it's gonna be beautiful don't worry <laughs> so right now I'm just gonna do the same for the other journals and I believe for one of the journals I've put the cloth uh, I've given it away to someone else so I'm gonna have to find a replacement yeah let's just see how we do this let's just put this to dry and let's do the next ones and you can use any color you want really it doesn't matter could even use this All done guys and now we're just going to let this dry for a little bit um, just because if it's not dry then the cloth might move or it might uh, stay stuck to our pages and damage the paper and stuff so you want to make sure it's all you know perfectly free and it doesn't touch the pages and it's drying flat as well Let's get this sewing underway. So the physics is simple. Uh, we just want to make crosses and I've decided to do them at the top, in the middle and at the bottom. And uh, so we're going to start inside, then we're going to go at the back, then we're going to go up within the signature, then down. In essence whenever you're inside the signature you go up and down and whenever you are at the back of the cover you go across which is pretty simple since it's the only way to go <laughs> so we're gonna do that I'm really excited about this so I've selected this thread that's here I think I'm going to double it because otherwise it's gonna be oh no it's fine I'm not gonna double it I'm just gonna go ahead and take one meter just in case I think it's a lot I don't think we need that much and I'm gonna grab a needle just any needle and I'm gonna make like a fake knot to make sure it doesn't go away 
And now we're going to place this. So yes, I have four signatures. So I've uh, divided my three centimeter spine in four signatures uh, here. And uh, this is one centimeter off from the top. So it's gonna be five millimeters here from the pages. Then it's three centimeters. So it's two centimeters uh, here. And then in the this is the center and it's two centimeters as well. It's it's pretty simple. Just do comment if it's not clear, and I will. Well, I guess I will comment something about a bit clearer. <laughs> I did try to find um, some tutorials on YouTube. I wasn't. I don't know. I found one that was really complicated. I thought it was overly complicated for what it was. So I'm just gonna try to do it this way and see if it works. And what I'm doing here is I'm just making the holes for the signatures. And I should probably do this with like cardboard. And then I'm going to make the holes in the signatures as well. And I'm going to make sure that my pages are exactly where I want them to be. And do remove your cover when you're making the holes in the signatures. Oh, and uh, it's... So this is the size of the signature. So you need to make sure that it's the size of your pages because they're half a centimeter smaller on each side, if I'm clear. So we need holes, we need a lot of holes. Usually we don't need that many. Okay, now that we have our four pages, we're just going to make sure that our signatures are the right way because that happens a lot. Yep. Okay, and now we're going to start sewing. Yay! Okay, I'm going to start within the middle of the signature here actually I'm gonna start at the bottom there and then we're gonna go to hole number two here Oh, that's going to go in front of this. I did not think about that. But it should be fine. Then we go in the middle of this signature at the top. So that's up there. Here. And then we're going to go down here. So far, so good. And I'm gonna go through the hoop here. And then we go. Oh my god. <laughs> um, okay, don't move. 
there. I'm gonna go here and then at the top of this one. And down. Uh, down, yes, it's this hole. There. And through here. Right. Okay, so that's the first bit of the cross done right here. <laughs> and then we're gonna grow across. It's, I really didn't think about this part here. I, th I hope it's gonna be okay. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I want it to be tight so it's not too complicated. we have this we're gonna go across there <laughs> okay, so that's our first crisscross. Now we need to make sure that it's nice and tight. And I don't know how to do that. I'm just gonna. Okay, that looks pretty good. I think. So I'm gonna attach everything with a knot, very simple knot. That had 
happened. And then I'm not gonna cut this just in case I did something wrong. <laughs> and I'm gonna do the rest here.
All right, guys, we've done it. I'm pretty happy with the result. Uh, even though this happened, there's some less happy about it, but we might be able to do something about it in the next journals. I really don't know what though, but yeah, need to think about it. Uh, but I, I'm really liking the bottom one, so that's pretty cool. All right, um, so I'm gonna do the next ones. Uh, my idea for this is to go a bit lower, maybe one centimeter from the top instead of half a centimeter, so that we have more space for, with the pages, and then it will come down here, so it might not look as bad. Uh, well, bad, it doesn't look bad, it's just a bit annoying, because <laughs> I like it to be perfect. Um, so anyways, yeah, I'm going, going to do the next ones off camera because you don't need me to, well, it's pretty fiddly work and it's, it's not easy. Uh, and I think my thread is a bit old. It keeps breaking. So I'm going to use these, which are, um... I don't know, threads to make bracelets. <laughs> I've got loads of them. So I'm gonna use these. I think the colors are perfect. And they should look really nice at the back as well. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. So here are my thoughts retro retrospectively. <laughs> I think it looks better when the thread is thicker and when there are more crosses than just one band or when the entire spine is filled. Um, but that is my personal opinion, of course. So what do you guys think? Which one do you prefer of the three that you have in a picture here? Uh, also, you definitely need more thread and, of course, a lot of patience. These took me days when it usually takes me a few hours. And also, I have found other very complicated tutorials on YouTube. So this is my own way. Uh, it's, I think it's simpler, but I'm not sure I explained it well. So do let me know what you think. And um, I will see you in the next video. Bye. Thanks for watching.